My name is Courtney Kerr and I'm the founder and editor-in-chief of Currently.com, a fashion and beauty blog. And this is my mom, Roy Ann. Our relationship is really unique because I'm an only child. And I think when you're an only child, especially a girl, you have this I mean, I'm fortunate enough to have a relationship with her that is almost like a friend, and I think there have been moments in your life that you've had to remind yourself to be a parent first and a friend second. And, you know, I ask my mom all the time, like, why didn't you have more children? And she's like, well, after I caught you, I was so terrified the next child would be like. <laughs> she was like, I was not going to take that risk that I would get a second child that was just as precocious and gregarious and outspoken as you, so she just was stuck with me. I've always enjoyed fashion. When Courtney was about 18 months old, it became very, very clear she was opinionated about fashion. Never had an opinion in my life. About Not what she one. would wear, she threw her first, I guess it was a temper tantrum. It was a temper tantrum, tantrum, but it was fashion related. It had nothing to do with like, anything normal that a child would throw a hissy fit right. about. She was in her closet and she knew what she wanted to wear to preschool that day. It wasn't what I had planned for her to wear, but she wanted to put on the little green dress with the ruffles and the socks and she wanted her hair in... Peepees. That's what we call pigtails. I still have temper tantrums like that, probably <laughs> at 36 years old. Nothing has really changed um, in my, I mean, I still have full on meltdowns in my closet, but they're usually generally accompanied with a strand of like, explicitives and you know, then I'm just like, screw it. And then like, I just put the first outfit on I have on. When mom was fixing up her house, she wanted to do red, white, and black. And you know, our love for Mackenzie Child was really easy to put into that house, you know, with all of the decorative pieces. Um, and, and it's just always been something that buying home furnishings has been more fun as we get older because, you know, we are entertaining and we are doing table settings. And we have very different home styles, by the way. I like white, clean, contemporary, but then like with random pops of color. I mean, if you've seen my apartment, I have a and my entire breakfast nook is covered in palm print wallpaper, you know, green wallpaper and with black and white stripes. But then I have a white couch with white fur rug and everything else is white. So I like those fun little, I call them winks in the home, you know, with that one charming piece where Mackenzie Child fits in perfectly in, in that capacity. Mom's always been like an amazing cook and it's never, I'll call her and be like, how do I make your, they never really have a name. It's not like chicken piccata or like, you know, Italian chicken, rosemary. It, it's like, how do I make your mushy chicken? <laughs> like, mushy chicken and rice. How do I make your, um, it's one word, roast rice and gravy. <laughs> but you don't say roast comma rice comma gravy. You say roast rice gravy. Introducing these these meals in, to my friends and um, to my, you know, boyfriend, it's been fun because that's what I grew up eating and mom never wrote down recipes. And so I'll call it Church cookbooks. Church, yeah, if it came church out of a cook. church cookbook, or a skillet, or a casserole dish, or a, or a crock pot, she knows how to make it. So that's how I love to cook. I mean, it's amazing I don't weigh 9,000 pounds because we, entertaining around warm, cozy food was always the name of the game. And I, I still, I mean, maybe I should become a food blogger. I mean, <laughs> and call it what? Courtney's crock pot. Currently crock potting. <laughs> Being Courtney's mother is, has always been an exciting adventure. She's she's always been outgoing. She's she's always done everything with a hundred percent heart. And, um, what a lot of people don't know is that she's such a generous and kind and loving daughter. She's just the sweetest thing in the world. Um, and our time together is so special. I, I'm so proud of her. I'm proud of her work ethic. I'm proud of the business that she's built. I'm, I'm proud of who she is as my daughter.